everyone, it's Laurel here and welcome to another Simply Card Making video with me. Today is a very special video because I am taking part in a video blog hop sponsored by or hosted by Laura Sturks of Making Cards is Fun. She's reached 7,000 subscribers on her YouTube channel, so she put together a fabulous video hop filled with a lot of fun crafters. And look at the sponsors here. All these sponsors have generously donated a prize, uh, so you'll want to be sure to leave a comment on each of the videos below and you will be instantly entered to win a prize. All of the details will be located on my blog at laurelbeard.org. But again, look at all these sponsors. I know it's crazy, so congratulations, Laura. Uh, this is the card that I'm gonna be making in the video today and I'll be using Essentials by Ellen products from Ellen Hudson and uh, some lawn fawn dyes. This is a lawn fawn dye right here. So I've got some masking paper here. This is masking paper by Inka Dinka Doo. And I've cut the masking paper to be four and a quarter by five and a half, a standard top folding card. And I'm lining up that circle die in the center of that panel there. And I've ran it through my die cutting machine because we're going to do some masking. And I'm going to be working off of some Tim Holtz watercolored paper. So I'm going to peel off the back. You'll have to forgive me. I cut all my nails off. I do not like having long nails. And it was hard for me to get that masking paper off because I have no nails. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and hear that down over the top of my card panel because we're going to do all the stamping inside that circle. Then that other circle that we cut out, I'm going to be using that Magnolia stamp set. So I needed to cut out the mask for that. So I ran, went ahead and ran that through my die cutting machine as well. So now I have both masks that I need for this card. So the stamp set I'm working off of is Mondo Magnolia Stamp Set by Essentials by Ellen. It's a fantastic, look at that flower, it's so pretty, so fun to color, paper piece, whatever. It's great. So I'm inking that up with some Onyx uh, black ink. It's a pigment ink because I'm going to do some quick heat embossing. And with the pigment ink, they stay wet longer so you're able to sprinkle on your embossing powder and heat set it very quickly and then I don't have to worry about uh, getting out the Versamark and all that stuff. The embossing powder I'm using has a little bit of glitter in it, so it's got this nice little sparkle to it. It's really quite pretty, and I'll be sure to link to that and all the supplies I use for that matter are linked below in the YouTube description as well as on my blog if you're interested. I'm going to be working with some Distress Ink, so the first thing I need to do is work outside the uh, flower there. So I'm going to take that mask and cover up my flower. And again, I've got that mask with the circle cut out already stuck down on my card panel. So just where that, that white white is, that's the only area that's going to be getting any ink right now because of those masks. So I'm using the Distress Minis for this. This is where having the minis really uh, come into play because I'm able to get into really tight areas. I tried to get some ink down with my blending tool, but I wasn't getting enough pink down. This is a really light color. So um, this is sponge sugar, by the way. So using the ink pad direct on the paper uh, definitely worked out for me and having that mini made it a lot easier than the full pad. So I've got that light colored pink ink down, which I think will be pretty for the background. And then I'm going to peel up that mask. Again, I got no fingernails, so it's hard to get my finger under there. <laughs> I just don't like having long nails. I don't know. They just get in my way. So now I'm going to save that mask. I'm going to stick it in the storage pocket. I keep my stamp set in and I'll have it for future. I can use it over and over again. And now it's time to color the flower. And I'm going to be coloring the flower with Distress Inks as well. I'm using Festive Berries and Picked Raspberry are the two colors I'm using. And I'm using these little finger sponge dauber thingamabobs uh, because that was a great way to get in these little tight areas. These little finger daubers like, give me precision and I'm able to get where I need to be. And I don't want to overlap and go outside of my flower onto where that light pink is. So using these little daubers uh, were quite helpful. I mean, I could have masked off that area, but... I was lazy and with these daubers I didn't need to. You can use like a, a makeup sponge or I mean you could use a q-tip that would probably take forever. Um, now I'm going in with the red again so I've got the red in the center, the pink uh, around the edges and then I'm going in with that uh, festive berries just around the end of the edges of those petals. So I went red, pink, red was my method of thinking. Again I'm being very careful not to go outside that flower and overlap into that light pink area. And then once I get the festive berries down, I'm going to go in with my sponge sugar again. And I'm going to go around the edges because I, 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 you see that little white kind of poking around the edges. I'm going to go ahead and take that festive berries ink pad and go over the whole flower. It's not going to matter that I'm going over the, the flower itself because that's such a light pink, you won't be able to see it. And then I'm going to cover up all that white. And then that's that. If I had tried to cover, color this magnolia with Copics, we'd be here till like Christmas. <laughs> Plus, it, I probably would have thrown it away. I'm not that good with coloring with Copics. But anyway, uh, so that's that. So now it's time to kind of 
work on pulling together the card. I don't know if magnolias are pink and red. I have no clue, but they're pink and red on my card. So now I'm peeling up that mask and look how pretty it is. I love peeling up masks. Look at that. All, all that stamping and inking is contained in that circle and I just think that's so pretty. So that black card stock has been trimmed to a standard top folding card, four and a quarter by five and a half. And I decided I want a little black border uh, to the left of my card. So I'm trimming a teeny tiny off of my uh, Magnolia panel here. So it's gonna be four by five and a half. And then when I adhere this down, I'm gonna have this little black border over to the left, which I thought was nice. I thought it tied into the black outline of the flower image. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that straight down flat. And now it's time to work on the sentiment. I had stamped the hello from that stamp set, uh, but it didn't work out to, for me, it was too big. And I like this have a beautiful day, but I wanted it all on one line. So you could have cut apart the image or the stamp, but I, I tend to not do that. I don't know, it's scary. It's not, it doesn't hurt the stamp, but it just scares me. <laughs> so I'm just doing some selective, selective inking. Look, I came up with the word selective. Selecting? No. Selective inking. So I stamped up have a, then I stamped it, then I wiped it clean, then I stamped beautiful day, and then stamped that down so I can get it all on one line. I stamped it with some Hero Arts Unicorn White pigment ink and sprinkled on some white embossing powder, and then I'm gonna heat set that. I love white against black. I think it is so pretty, I really do. All right, so now I'm trying to figure out how, I went ahead and cut that apart. Um, so probably in theory, I really didn't have to do that selective ink. <laughs> Anyway, so that's some Perfect Pearls mixture. It's just a mixture of water and a Perfect Pearls pigment powder. And I'm taking my paintbrush and flicking on some of that Perfect Pearls and it's gonna dry and give me those pretty uh, pearlescent water flecks there. I'm gonna pop up the sentiment with some foam dimension. So I trimmed down some of my double-sided tape and I'm gonna pop that up a little bit. And then we're almost done, we're almost done. Trying to figure out before I push it down too hard, just trying to make sure I, I've got it where I want it to be. All right, so I'm happy, so I'm gonna push it down flat. And I'm never satisfied. I don't know why I just don't leave well enough alone, but I'm loving those pearlescent flicks. Now I'm going in and flicking just a little bit of regular water, and the Distress Inks react with that water. Now this is, you could not see it, I got off camera, but this is um, some shape and stick something. I don't know, I'll link, the, the, I'll link it below but I've got it <laughs> and I'm trimming it down. You could do something like this with pattern paper or some washi tape or anything like that, but I'm trimming it down. Shh, I can't, I, I'm irritated I can't remember the name right now, but I can't, but anyway, I'll link it below. And I'm just gonna press that right in. I, I like the addition of the little stripes there to complete the card. I just thought it tied everything together. I could have left it black, whatever floats your boat. But this is the finished card and I love it. And you can see the pearlescent flicks and the water flicks in that flower. I think it's so, so pretty. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. All the details and supplies and more pictures are linked over on my blog. And you see that little subscribe button? If you click on it, you also you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also be sure to go over to laurelbeard.org where you can see more pictures and supplies and the name of that shape and tape stuff that's still annoying me that I can't remember what it's called. Ah, I use it all the time. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day.